My name is Jubal Sherald. Uh, I've built this for BrickCon 2015. Uh, it's been in the works for years. Uh, I, it mostly come to, came together in the last couple of months uh, when I realized if I don't build this, nobody's going to build it. <laughs> so um, the hardest part was probably figuring out how to get it up in the air. If you look down below, you'll notice there's only three places where it's held up. Okay. Um, it's held together by a frame of uh, Technic girders inside, and then a lot of this rock work is suspended from it. Uh, and as for where the ideal whole idea came from, this is what people always ask me, and I don't, can't really say exactly where it came from. I wanted to do a floating island for a long time, because I've seen them before, and they've always been small things, kind of like these. But I wanted to do something that was rather impressive and this one ended up being really big and I don't know if I'll ever be able to do something like this again but <laughs> I think you certainly met your goal of making an impressive build yeah. this is so cool here I love what you've done with it so one thing I noticed here you mentioned what's holding it up there you can talk a little bit more about that yeah. is that like a stool you've got in the back there yeah there's a stool in the back because it got so heavy that these uh these beams were starting to flex too much so I needed a little more support underneath there um, the whole thing weighs about 50 pounds, so to keep it up, I needed yeah a lot more support than I thought I needed at the beginning. Okay. But uh, I think it's it's held up pretty well. It's been up at my house for a couple weeks now, and it's been pretty stable here too. So I'm pretty proud of it. So. And if you can talk a little bit more about what's the structure like on the bottom here, you've got like all these different rock sections. How is that all held together? Okay, so each of these rock sections is sort of independent, and they hang from a framework that's hanging from three points. Um, it's a triangular truss, and there's four of these sections underneath. So all these rocks are just sort of hanging from that, which is then hanging from the main framework, which is then being suspended from the, the base. And then on top of that, there's a, there's a piece of plywood to kind of support the, the rest of the stuff on top, and that's all sitting on top of a giant uh, Technic piece uh, truss that looks like a six-pointed uh, star, basically. Um, and all this stuff, the castle is built up in layers so that I can easily put it together while it's up there. And all these other parts are just set up. Uh, the houses are all removable. So everything comes together pretty in small pieces. Yeah, and this is so neat just because not only do you have all these rock pieces, but also the incredible castle on top. Was there any particular inspiration for that castle or just kind of started building uh, in a design you liked? I just started building, and then I didn't have enough gray, really, to make the entire thing, because I needed lots of gray for this rock. Uh, so I decided, oh, let's make it white, kind of transition into a white thing, and I want to do more arches and have different types of towers, round ones, square ones, triangular. So I tried to get a little of everything. Um, and I wanted to have the walls. I, didn't I don't like it when walls are just completely flat. Sometimes that happens when you're just building with one color. So I tried to make everything project out and, and different tile work and everything. So it's not the biggest thing, but I'm glad I was able to sit up there. It's, it's awful heavy. <laughs> I'll say that. It's tough to get that up there. <laughs> it looks like it might be, yeah. So that's so cool. What, what was the hardest part of this build for you, would you say? Uh, the hardest part was keeping up because I started it about two and a half months ago with the, most of the work of this. And the hardest part was just taking time out of every day to get forward on it there were a few times i thought well this is never gonna get done um but the after every week i decided i was gonna just start posting pictures online of my build i've never done that before of a progress and every each week i realized i'm making a lot of progress and some people are actually interested in this too because i got some nice comments on it so that was helpful to actually kind of share the, the build of this. Um, and, and when you look at it at the end and then you go back through the history, it's amazing to see how much actually got done. I'm amazed that I got that much done and other people have told me the same thing. <laughs> so I think sharing that has helped. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. And I, I always love seeing progress picks as well. So I think it's really cool when builders share that and kind of show, you know, different parts usages or whatever it might be, the styles they're building. And I think it's really neat. Yeah. I like that too, because it helps you kind of see maybe the th thought process and how they put things together. Um, with mine, a lot of the progress picks were like building the castle itself, going up in each layer. And I tried to make each layer a little different than the last one.